Okay, right here is a 1971 Terex 8240. This dozer was originally designed and introduced by Euclid in 1966. Later on in 1968, when GM was forced to give up the Euclid division because of an antitrust lawsuit, a new company formed, Terex, and the 8240 joined the Terex line of dozers in 1969. That same year, Terex introduced an improved version of this dozer known as the DA model 8240, which is what you're looking at right here. And some of the improvements that were made to the DA model was a beefed up undercarriage and track frame, and also a larger single air filter, which you can see right on the side there, and the air intake up top. Now I'm going to take and show you around this dozer and tell you some technical information about it. Now one common feature with a lot of these older Euclid and Terex dozers was a single cylinder mounted in the front of the dozer to raise and lower the dozer blade. But probably the most unique feature about these Euclid and Terex dozers was the unique layout of the powering system, which you could almost say is backwards in its design. Take note, on the front of this dozer, you do not see the radiator like you would see on most dozers. That's because the radiator for the engine is mounted behind the operator seat on the back of the dozer. And in the front, this round piece that you see mounted in the center, where it says Terex, is what's called the hydraulic power unit. Basically what this is, is the hydraulic pump. And you can get a better view of it looking inside there. Off to the side, this is the label for the hydraulic power unit. The 8240 was powered by a Detroit 8V71N, which you can see right under the hood there and this engine would put out 275 horsepower. This is the standard engine for an 8240 dozer, but Terex did offer a turbocharged engine for this dozer, which would put out 290 horsepower. The turbocharged version of the 8240 was known as the DAT model, and the reason why Terex did this was to give its customer a choice of what engine the customer would prefer to have installed in the dozer. Also, Take note just how thick the superstructure and frame is on this dozer. These old Euclid and Terex dozers were not cheaply built. They were very tough, reliable animals. Right on the side here is the machine serial number. You can see where it says Terex GM, the model number 8240DA. Now I'll take you up inside the operator's cab and show you the control setup. As you can see, this is an open cab on this dozer, but Terex did offer an enclosed cab for the 8240, depending on what the customer preferred. This big tank you see off to the left side of the operator's seat is the diesel fuel tank. This is the gauge right here to tell the operator how much fuel is in the tank and behind it is the cap to fuel the tank with diesel fuel. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station. Okay, these two hand levers you see out in front here are your steering clutches. They basically control the power on and off each track. Out in front, this is your water temperature gauge. This is your clutch oil pressure, your amp meter, this is your hour gauge, your engine oil pressure, and your transmission oil temperature. This knob you see right here controls the engine stop. This other hand lever on the right side is the engine's throttle. Off to the right side are two hand levers. This one that folds down right here controls all the functions of the dozer blade out in front. And the other hand lever you see right here controls the functions of the shank ripper if it were installed on the dozer. On my left side, this hand lever controls the transmission. The 8240 has an Allison CRT6031 transmission, and this hand lever controls it to go from forward, neutral, or reverse. And here's a crystal clear operator's view if you were running this dozer. And on the side right here, you can see the decal that says 8240.
Here's a view from the back of the dozer, and again take note of the radiator mounted behind the operator's seat. Again, this was all Euclid's own design. And the 8240s were manufactured up until 1973 when the model was discontinued and dropped from Terex's product line. But there she is, a 1971 Terex 8240DA.